Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Um, you know, about teachers, mentors, pastors, um, sponsors, uh, I want to tell you, those relationships aren't always easy. Um, and probably a good thing. But I want to make it very clear that there's going to be challenges to those relationships. The people God brings into your life, you know, whether it be your pastor or your sponsor or, or whatever you call them, uh, if you know God brought you to them, uh, then you need to just stick through it. You need to stick with it. You need to look past any flaws, anything that you don't agree with. Um, first of all, because at some point you may end up agreeing with them about something that you would disagree with them now. You know, because we're trying to renew our thinking. You know, and some things they may be wrong on. You have to learn that the relationship is far more valuable uh, than than opinions. You know, if it's an opinion and it's not uh, about what uh, we know is truth and the word, uh, then they're allowed to have their opinion. I'm allowed to have my opinion. Uh, there, there are going to come challenges, and those people aren't always going to say the things that you want to hear. Your pastor or your teacher or your, or your sponsor isn't always going to say what you like to hear, and that's a good thing. But they are going to tell you the truth if they're a good sponsor, if they're a good pastor. And so they may not always, uh, and, and a lot of times they don't enjoy telling you uh, the hard things. But if they want to see you grow, then they're going to say it. Um, it's not important that we're comfortable listening to the people God brought us to. It's not important that we always hear the encouraging things. It's important that we do hear those things, but it's more important that we grow from from what they're telling us. And and when they tell us things, man, it's like a it's like a chisel on a rock. They're trying to chisel the things off that that don't belong there, so they can make uh, make us into something great, make us into something better, and, and to show us our true potential. So don't get discouraged if you have um, a disagreement. You know, um, a lot of times if I don't agree with something I hear, I keep it to myself and I just kind of put it up there on the shelf, let it sit for a while. I don't jump to any conclusions. You know, I've done that before and, and it almost hurt me. And uh, so now I just be patient, let it simmer, pray about it. And a lot of times I'll figure out that it's just not important enough to uh, argue over. And, and then I end up continuing to have a great relationship with the people God put in my life, and, and I'm able to continue growing and uh, keep my faith activated, keep my love walk going, and that's important. So uh, your teachers aren't always going to say nice, pink, fluffy, fuzzy things that you want to hear, and uh, and that's a good thing. So just keep on keeping on, you know, keep doing what you're doing, um, look past all the flaws, look past all the disagreements, and just keep doing what you know is right. And, and keep that when you uh, when you are able to look past those things that you don't necessarily agree with um, then then that keeps a door open and that keeps the ability uh, for that person to teach you and receive and that keeps your ability to grow and be teachable and you always want that avenue open between you and that person God's called you to uh, whether it be your pastor sponsor or whoever it is that you know you're supposed to be listening to. So if nobody's told you they love you today, I love you. And uh, keep on fighting that good fight. We'll see you on the next one.